Now let me show you how to construct derivative joints. Now let me show you the problem with respect to this one. Draw to 1 is to 1 scale the top and sectional frame of a double derivative lap joint with zigzag riveting. The thickness of plate is 9 mm. Show at least 3 rivets indicate all dimension. Use snap headed rivets. Now, according to the given questions, first we have to calculate its diameter. The diameter of a rivet is given as 6 root t. Now, after substitution with t as 9 mm because we have to connect 9 mm plate of thickness. Now, the diameter of rivet is going to become 18 mm. In the same fashion, the longitudinal pitch P is going to be 3 times of diameter of the rivet which will come around 54 mm. Then, the distance of center of rivet from the edge of the plate is given as 27 mm that is given as 1.5 d. Now the transverse pitch PT is given as 0.6 P4 zigzag riveting which is 0.6 into 54 which is going to 32.4 mm. Now you can see this is what a required riveted joint how actually it is going to look like. Now in the examination we have to do the riveted joints in this fashion we have to draw these things. Now let me show you how to do these things. Now the transverse pitch is nothing but the distance between two different rows is nothing but transverse pitch which has been measured as 32.4 mm. Distance from the edge to the center of the rivet is given as 27 mm for both the plates. Then the thickness of lap plates will be always same that is 9 mm. Then what is longitudinal pitch? The distance between two rivets, the distance between two consecutive rivets in the same row is called as longitudinal pitch. That means the distance between this rivet and distance between this rivet is nothing but the longitudinal pitch that is given as 54 mm. In case of zigzag riveting, how we are going to get it? The PT is 32.4 but the one more column of rivet, sorry, one more row of rivet is going to be offset for a distance of 0.5 times of pitch that is longitudinal pitch which is nothing but 1.5 d that is 27 millimeter and the distance between the two consecutive pitch in the same row will always be having the longitudinal pitch p that is 54 millimeter but the two adjacent rows is having 32.4 that is called as transverse pitch now let me show you how to construct the same using the solid edge software now let me go for solid edge now we have done all the required setups. Now using a line command with 0.13 mm as a thickness, let me draw a lines like this 1, 2 and 3 lines. Let me draw it. After drawing these 3 lines, somewhere from here, let me draw an inclined line in the same fashion somewhere from here, let me draw an inclined line. Now after drawing this inclined line, make use of a command called a trim. Now let me trim these unwanted portions. After trimming these unwanted portions, what is the next step? Now using a line command, let me draw a line from this end point to a short distance like this in the same fashion from here to here a short distance. Now using a command called angle between command, the angle between this line, so let me zoom this area. The angle between these two lines is supposed to be given as 10 degree. In the same fashion, the angle between these two lines is given as 10 degree. After giving these two necessity, necessary angles, next what is the next step? Here you can see the distance from 27 plus 32.4 plus 27. That is point, distance between this point and this point is given that value. Now using the distance between command. The distance between the end point, the distance point between the end point of this line to the end point of the inclined line is given as 27 plus 27 plus 32.4. Now after drawing these things, what is the next step? Now let me zoom this area to avoid any confusions. Using a command called distance between the distance between these two lines is supposed to be given as 9 mm. That is nothing but a thickness of plate. In the same fashion, the distance between these two plates is supposed to be given as 
9 millimeters. Now, after giving both the values as 9 millimeters, using a command called curve, let me move a cursor on this line endpoint. Now, simply draw a line like this. In the same fashion, just move a cursor to get a endpoint. Now, position a curve like this. Now, we need to position these two curves. Now, select these two curves as well as these three lines along with inclined line and let it be a 0.5 millimeter thick. After drawing these things, what is the next step? Make use of a line command with 0.13 mm as a thickness. Starting from somewhere over here, simply draw a line in the form of a chain line. That is nothing but axis line to be drawn. In the same fashion, somewhere from here, let me draw one more line. After drawing these two lines, now we know that the distance between this line and this edge is measuring as 27 millimeter. Now the distance between these two lines are supposed to be measured as 32.4 millimeter. Then the distance between these two lines is supposed to be measured as 27 millimeter. So here somewhere we done a mistake. It should be 86 millimeter. Now you can see it will become 27 millimeter. Now we have done the required things. Now after doing this required things, what is the next step? The next step is we have to create a rivets. Now what is a rivet head diameter? The rivet head diameter is 1.6 into D. What is D? D is diameter of rivet. That is 18 millimeter. This will become an outer diameter of a circle. Now it should be drawn with the continuous line with 0.5 millimeter thing. So let me place one circle here, another circle here and one more circle here. In the same fashion, let me position two circles in the adjacent row. Now after doing these things, now make yourself a distance between command. The distance between these two rows, sorry, these two rivet is one which that is 54 millimeter. In the same fashion, in the same row, the distance between these two lines is 54 millimeter. In the same fashion, the distance between these two riveted head is 54 millimeter, but the distance between this circle and this circle is supposed to be given as 27 millimeters. Now, this is the required positioning of the riveted joints. After doing these things, we have to construct a lap plate. How to construct a lap plate? Make use of a line command with 0.5 mm thickness of a continuous line. Let me start from the incline position over here. Now, somewhere here, you can see the tracking point. The tracking point is going to indicate that a line is going to be developed from there. Now, from here to here, let me draw a, a line which is at an angle of minus 90 degree. It is not length, the angle is minus 90 degree to some distance. In the same fashion, somewhere from here, let me draw one more line, which is going to be started at that position. And once again, the angle is minus 90 degree for this length. After drawing these two lines, what is the next step? Make use of a command called a curve. Let me draw a curved portion like this. After drawing this curved portion, this is going to define one plate. This is going to define the first plate. In the same fashion, we have to create the bottom plate. How to create a bottom plate? Make use of a line command with 0.5 mm itself as a thickness. Starting from somewhere here, let me draw a line like this. Now, after drawing this line, starting from the incline position over here, let me get a, another tracking point and let me start one more line and the angle of life must be minus 90 degree. Now after doing these things, what is the next step? Now make use of a curve command starting from this position, simply draw a curve like this. After drawing this curve, this is going to complete this portion. Now make use of a trim command, trim the unwanted portions over here. After doing the things, what is the next step? 
here these portions must be shown as invisible lines so now what shall I do using a zoom command let me zoom this portion using a command called a trim let me trim these two portions make use of line command with a dashed lines starting from this line end point connected to the end point of this line in the form of a dashed line in the same way repeat the same step to the other side also now you can see this will become the invisible edges now after drawing the required invisible edges what else to be drawn now we have to draw the head here now after drawing a head you can see after drawing the drivy diameter here also we are going to get a circles which is equal to a diameter of a rivet now that will become invisible the diameter of the rivet is given as 18 millimeter which should be positioned exactly at the centers like this now position exactly at the centers like this this is going to complete the required top view then how we are going to get a front view let me show you the construction of the front view now we know that <coughs> we know that starting from this position this thickness is given as 0 0.8 into d what is d 18 millimeter so 0 0.8 into 18 millimeter has to be measured in this direction and what is the height height is given as 0 0.7 into 18 millimeter that is 12.6 millimeter at an angle of 90 degree and like this you construct the required rivet head constructions for the snap head rivets now obtaining the midpoint draw a line which is supposed to be perpendicular to the axis like this then make use of a circle uh, sorry arc by center point then the line thickness as 0.5 millimeter starting from the end point of an inclined line which is drawn perpendicularly and select this end point as the required point and then draw a circle like sorry draw an arc which is supposed to be like this after drawing this arc what is to be done make use of a command called move move this circle with respect to the intersection point over to this intersection point during which we have to switch on the copy of move now you can see i am going to position it here also in the same fashion this has to be drawn at the bottom also so for achieving at the bottom what we have to do let us go for a mirror command which has to be mirrored both the arcs has to be mirrored with respect to this line so let me mirror it now this completes the construction of rivet heads now after the construction of rivet heads when we are going to do the sectioning when we are going to do the sectioning now here you can see at somewhere here i am going to do the section at this position only one rivet is going to cut the other rivet is not going to cut so we have to show the rivets lines only here but not here now how to do it now let me zoom this position using a line command with 0 0.5 millimeter as a thickness let me draw a lines like this now after drawing these lines make use of symmetric relationship this is the axis these two must be symmetrical to each other what is the next step the next step is the distance between these two lines is supposed to be given as 18 millimeter now after giving this as 18 millimeter what is the next step now you can see this has to be given as 18 millimeter but here these positions are going to be changed so now the distance between here to here if i give 9 millimeter yes it is not a problem now you can see earlier it has been changed so i have given 9 millimeter now now make use of a trim command trim these three lines in the same fashion trim these three lines and trim this line now this dimension can be placed somewhere over here this dimension can be placed somewhere over here and let me delete this line also now this is what a portion what we are going to see now this portion is hatched now how to do the hatching make use of a command called fill now let the angle of fill be 45 degree and let the spacing be 3 mm this should be filled in one fashion this thing should be filled in one fashion then give the minus 45 degree and same 3 mm these things should be hatched in the opposite direction 
and here only the left sided rivet has going to be section so let me give 45 degree only but the spacing is only 1 millimeter so let me give the spacing as only 1 millimeter where and where it has to be hatched 1 2 3 4 these are the four position where that rivet has to be hatched now this is going to complete the riveted joints as per the requirement now the same concept should be applied for the remaining conditions of the rivet for which we can do it very easily